Oh, you haven't put that part. <laughs> okay, power pose. <gasps> It'll be fine, don't worry. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Catherine Sews. Today, I'm really happy to be sewing with my friend Michelle. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Michelle was my student a long time ago. In 2012. So how many years ago is that? Nine. Eight. Nine. <laughs> She's a math genius. She's actually an accountant. <laughs> I have a math degree. So Michelle was my student and somehow worked her way into my heart and into my family and now she's just part of the family. Oh. oh. Anyway, Michelle just bought herself four new pairs of pants and needs just a little bit of help of taking them in at the back waist. Yeah. Two dress pants and two jeans. Two dress pants and two jeans. So that's our day's work today. So for the jeans, I'm just going to show her a really easy trick. To, to take in the back of your jeans, easy for anybody. And then Michelle's gonna do the same thing on her on her second pair of jeans. For the dress pants, we'll just- See how it goes. See how it goes, okay. I'll just show her and then she can decide if she wants to do the second pair. But it'll be fun. I'm glad you're here with us. <laughs> Let's just jump right in. These are awesome jeans that she got from Everlane. Is that right? Everlane. And they look fantastic, but they're just, just that little bit too big in the waist where they're gonna be sliding down off her. So then these blue jeans, blue Levi's, that are also really cute high-waisted style, but just that little bit, just too loose right there. So what we're gonna do is I'll show Michelle how to do it on the black jeans, and then she's gonna do it herself on the blue jeans. Okay, so you got these pants at? Aritzia. They're beautiful, I love these. Thank you. And so what do you wanna change about these? So they sit low on the waist, but they're supposed to be high-waisted, so I want them up and then We'll use a different process for this because we still want to keep that really trim fit. So on the other jeans, I didn't even measure in how much she wanted to take in because it's an easy trick we're going to do. But this one, that's a good inch and a half there. Let me put a pin. So we will be removing a belt loop. There's enough to take in there that I think we'll make a seam in that center back waist and then we'll put that belt loop back on. Right. They are nice. They're they're gorgeous. But it is a little trickier. Yeah, it? that's trickier. Yeah. Maybe you just gotta eat more. That's it. Go oh, eat some lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure that one out. But let's see the other dress pants. Yeah, these are beautiful. <laughs> so what what do you want to change about these? Because those look just gorgeous. This I think it just needs to be taken in a bit. This is a gap. So let me put a pin there. Okay, so right there you can see that's a fairly easy job. The only problem is there's no seam here at the waistband. So we'll still have to figure out how to remove that little bit of fabric. Okay, we'll figure it out. They're so pretty. I love it with that sweater. Right, it's cute. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It's super cute. Let's start with the jeans. For both of the jeans, we're going to be putting elastic through the back part of the waistband. So we're going to just be cutting a little slit on the inside all that's going to end up showing are two lines of stitching right in the waistband so michelle you take your jeans and somewhere near that front belt loop <laughs> on the inside you're going to cut a little slit so i just pull the front away from the back and then make a little slit like that don't be scared <laughs> you can do it <laughs> It won't cut. <laughs> Do you want better scissors? Oh, okay. <laughs> Try to keep it PG. <laughs> Here, I'll give you good scissors. Like, just use the points of these. How about? Okay. And we don't want to get too close to the belt loop because it's just hard to sew it closed after. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. <laughs> I don't want to waste your elastic, so I know we're going to be going from one slit to the other, but that's going to stretch a bit, so I'll cut a couple inches less than that. When we'll probably still cut up a bit, and I'll cut you a piece the same. Seems like you have a bit of issue with, with cutting, so I'll we'll just cut that way. <laughs> okay, and now you're going to put your elastic on a safety pin, and then we'll just go in one of the openings that you made. So you're just going to push that elastic along. Now, if these pants were a lot bigger, I wouldn't use this technique because it would just look funny on you. But it's just a small amount. You just want it to be more secure at your back, right? Yes. Yes. Can you get it in the hole? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, my, no. My 
many safety pin opened up inside and stuff. This safety pin is too bendy. Yeah, I don't like it. Some safety pins are better than others. I'm getting it. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do yours so fast? I'm not fast at all. I'm only like a quarter of the way through. Go ahead and just speed up this part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine and Michelle struggled with the elastic for 45 minutes. <laughs> this label is sewn right through. Oh, so I have to take that, that label off. <gasps> is yours? But it's this label though. That's a nice label. I know, you don't want to get rid of that. Like just make another hole here, pop your elastic out, over, and back in. Let's do that. And then no problem, you'll just sew it over here and sew there and cut out the middle part. Okay. Unpick that one. But leave this one and we'll make another slit there and there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so I would need to do one here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm hopping out right before this big label. I made a second or a third slit. I'll bring the elastic out there. You definitely don't want the elastic to twist and then going back in. So that'll okay, be okay, that's right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that'll sit all right on you. So I'm going to put a pin there to hold that elastic, sew it down there, and sew it down here, and then cut off what's in yeah. between. How are you doing with yours? It's good in there. <laughs> you have to be strategic for your followers. <laughs> You don't want them to know how hard it is. Do you want me to do it? Okay. You wanna... Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay. There. Oh. Lordy, okay. So make your other little slit. You'll have to make your slit between the belt loop and the label, so right there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I pin... Yeah, just make sure you don't lose that end in there. <laughs> you can pin that end to the other side. You, you finished? Oh yeah, man, I finished like half a bloody hour ago. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just let me know if you want me to. Nope. <laughs> That's the way you're getting it. You're getting it. Oh, I got it! <laughs> okay. So I snip here? Yeah, let's cut that because then we don't have to worry about that twist. We're just going to be putting like a long skinny back tack at each end of the elastic. So now that the elastic is through on the jeans, we're just going to be sewing right beside there and end up doing a double rope. So right beside the elastic there. And I want to make that super secure. So this line of stitching does show on the outside, so that's another reason why I don't really want to do that technique on the dress pants, oh, right? Too bad. So I'm cutting off the extra elastic there. Okay. I think it's nicer to do a second line there, just so that doesn't fray anymore. Okay. So then I gotta do that three more times. Bring this over, sew that elastic mm -hmm. down on the side. Yeah, good. And then I'll cut there. Okay, so these ones are basically done. All right, you want to do the blue ones? So I put this oh. here. Okay, but wait. Oh, we got a <laughs> camera in front of your face. <laughs> so now I have this in front of my face, which makes an added challenge because I can't really sew well without anything in my face. So I can't reach the pedal, so one second. Okay. I have not used this machine before. Please bear with me. And they've never sewn with a camera right in front of your nope. face before? Now you feel my pain, right? How do you do this? Like that? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Nice and close. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Perfect. You don't have to go right top and bottom, just the width of the elastic is what you need oh. to do. Oh, That's all good. And then you can just move a little, like a quarter inch to your right and do that same line again on top of the elastic there. Wow, this is actually tricky with the camera. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Excellent. That's exactly what you're going to do three more times. Once you trim your threads, you hardly see that stitching at all. And then I would cut. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. That's it. Okay. Roger that. Mm -hmm. 
Don't you miss me in your class now? <laughs> like this? Yeah. That's good. Trim this. Oh, well, these are the Levi's. And you, so you did it. Look how good they look. They're perfect. And it looks smooth, like it doesn't look gathery. Yeah, it but does. it just, the elastic makes it just suck in like that. And the tag didn't buckle up. Right yeah, there. that looks perfect. Yeah, that was a good little thing to just jump over. No, oh, you did great. And look, I'm trying to even see the lines of stitching there. The stitch lines are there, but you have to zoom right in. There are some here, but I literally cannot even see those. So good job, you did Thank it. Thank you, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I unpicked this belt loop from the center back and I was happy to see that there actually is a seam there in the waistband. So that's gonna make that a lot easier. Okay. The unpicking was not that much fun because I'm trying to be really careful not to damage the fabric. So I'm going in between layers. This is almost like menswear where the white layer is sewn on this under layer and then this is just over. So that was actually easy to unpick, but it was just getting that belt loop off was like sewn with like micro stitches. Quality pants. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I am impressed with how these are made. This is Wilfred from Maurizia, right? Mm -hmm. These are good. Okay, so finally, that belt loop's out. Okay, and now if we're taking this in, that means I also have to separate it off from the white, right? Just a lot of unpicking. It's a bit of a big job, but it's going to be worth it. We were taking in about three quarters of an inch. No, wasn't it um, an inch and a half? Yeah, three quarters of an inch from the seam, so doubled. So let's see, go there, we'll take, we'll sew that. And then this is the center back seam here. So we'll start at that amount, three quarters, and then blend to nothing. All right, so we'll blend kind of straight down into there. This white part, we're just gonna cut it in half and then sew it back together. Before we do these verticals, let's do these horizontals. We're gonna sew these seams back together and then do it all in one so that it's easy to adjust. Let's say you lose more weight or you gain a tiny bit, you'll be able to adjust the center back waist easily. Good, so what we're gonna do is sew all these little horizontals there and here. And you'll try to sew right in the original seam line on both sides. What about the excess fabric though? It's gonna fold in nicely. We're not actually gonna be cutting off anything and you wanna have a bit of flexibility in the waist. All of these horizontals get sewn, then we do the vertical, and then it's pretty easy to adjust the size if you wanna readjust later. So do you wanna sew these parts or do you want me to? I'm scared. You're scared, <laughs> okay. We're gonna do all these little horizontal seams and I'm trying my best to be right in that original fold line. Same thing in here right in that original fold line it's bunchy underneath you don't want to like sew down a pleat or anything so keep it smooth and then so that's all together now in one right mm -hmm. and so then when we sew it we'll be sewing it in one i want to get all of those horizontals lined up with each other really really nicely i want to kind of nail it together with a pin so i'm putting the pin in just below the sewing line there, and making sure it comes out just below the sewing line there, back out and back out, right? So that's nailed together. And then the same up here, we want that to be perfectly lined up in there. Both seam allowances will be going up. So all of the white stuff stays going up, edges together, and coming in like that three quarters of an inch, Okay, so here I want to make sure that my presser foot's not pushing it and shifting. I want to leave this pin in, actually both my pins, in till the last second. In fact, I'm going to walk my needle right through that area. Good. Before I take out those pins, just so I know I'm not shifting it. I'm just coming down straight here. And then once I'm past the waistband, now I'm going to taper off to nothing down here. 
So whenever I'm tapering, I'm gonna hold the pin that I'm aiming for, I'm gonna hold that directly in front of the needle because whatever's in front of the needle is where you're gonna go. So now I'm gonna have that seam allowance going open the whole way. I will be taking that to the iron and pressing that down flat. But right now, I'm just going to get that laying down. Now, the nice way they sewed that stitch underneath that bottom layer, I'm not gonna be able to do right in the end here, right? So I am gonna do it right through. And so I'm gonna keep this that I'm holding all nicely laying together. I'm gonna keep that all good. Stick a pin in there. And now I'm gonna do what's called stitching in the ditch. I'm gonna be stitching right in that ditch. I want my needle right in that ditch. I definitely don't wanna come up onto the ridge cause that'll show. And I don't wanna to be too far below cause that'll show too. So it's hidden when you're right in the ditch. And tiny back tacks are okay. You don't wanna have a big back tack because you have got more possibility of that seam showing. And definitely have steam in your iron, otherwise it can make your fabric shiny. With wool, you definitely want to use steam. So I thought this was going to be a bigger job than it turned out to be. Like, it actually went pretty quick, didn't it? Mm. Oh, I still just need to put that other belt loop back on. I mean, you don't really need the other belt loop. What do you think? Do you, I'm not gonna wear... you, yeah, you don't wear belts, you just yeah. said, right? Are you fine if I leave that belt loop off? Yeah, yeah. All right. Because I thought we'd use it to hide that, but I think that looks pretty darn good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Okay. So just trim off any threads. Like if you leave little tiny threads, it looks like it's been altered, right? So you want to just make it as clean as it was. Okay. So how do those feel now? They feel much better. Oh, good. Let's see the back. Good. Oh, that's so nice. That's so beautifully smooth over your waist. Your waist just looks so teeny and gorgeous. <laughs> there's just it's a little right there I just want to taper it a little more right there because it's just a little pokey out right there yes I won't poke you I promise <laughs> I'm just gonna taper off of that and then that's gonna be beautiful you like it you're happy I'm very happy okay good it sits it sits yeah it's it's not gonna be sliding down it just looks gorgeous beautiful Okay, so these ones are constructed totally differently, right? This is more like a women's wear style. The black ones were more like a men's wear with that white inner waistband. So the ones that are made more like men's wear, they tend to be better made and more expensive. Uh, this one's cheaper. Like men's wear techniques, they're just often better than the women's wear techniques. Yeah, so I think what I'll do is kind of the same thing where I'm gonna unpick this and then I'll cut the waistband and then we'll do the horizontals and then the verticals already. So now that I've got them separated, now I can cut this waistband. So I'm just gonna be cutting right there. Right there, like that. No turning back now. <laughs> Alrighty, then I'm gonna open up this vertical seam a little bit so that we can sew those two horizontals. So now I'm just sewing the two horizontals on the gray. You can see a difference in the techniques, right? Yeah. Like this is like this soft, lightweight interfacing. That's more typical of women's wear. Tailoring versus dressmaking. Dressmaking is sort of the umbrella term for women's wear techniques. Basically, that's a generalization. Yeah. So both horizontals are sewn and now I just put it together. Open that waistband all the way up like that. And now we know we want to be taking it in five eighths of an inch. Again, I want those horizontal lines to match up. So that there. So again, I want all the seam allowance going up and I'm coming straight down. I don't start that taper until I'm past the waistband. These fit beautifully. I want to just press those seam allowances open, but it's going to be just easier if I fold that all like that, give that a press, and then I can finish that off. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, nice and flat. Then all I have to do is stitch in the ditch there. 
So let's stitch in the ditch again. So see how I'm kind of opening it? That's just to get in that ditch a little bit more so that the seam gets totally hidden. Like, see that? Okay, my darling, I think Thank you are you. done. My pleasure. Well, these were even like way easier than I thought. I thought this was gonna be a big job too, but that was actually like nice and quick. So well, how are these ones? They spent a while too. Oh, they yeah. look so pretty with that sweater too. That's Thank gorgeous. But that's it's so nice and smooth at the back. That just looks so pretty. Hey? Yeah, and there's no pucker. No pucker, that looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. That looks great. Yay. So we finished. <laughs> See you next. <laughs> okay, everybody, thanks so much for joining us today. We had a lot of laughs, but we actually did get all four pants finished. They all look beautiful. They fit. I have pants that fit. Now. Yay! Yeah. Thanks so much to Michelle for coming over to sew with me today. I really appreciate that. It was fun. It was very fun. Thank you. <laughs> and until next time, you take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and don't worry, I can edit out whatever <laughs> we need to edit out. <laughs>